Color swatches can greatly improve your Shopify store user experience and make exploring your products way easier to your customers. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up color swatches on your product pages and on the filters on your collection pages. And I'm going to show you how to set them up, whether you are using a professional theme or a free theme like the Dawn theme. This video is not difficult, but you need to follow up with it step by step. That's why I highly recommend you to watch the entire video, then re-watch it while setting up color swatches on your Shopify store. Also in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use images and patterns instead of only using colors for your swatches. And if you use like fancy names for your colors, I'm going also to show you how you can introduce these within Shopify. So let's get started. A few months ago, we used to do color swatches in a totally different way. What you are going to see in this video is based on the latest Shopify updates. That's why this video is perfect for you. So here I am inside of Shopify and as you can see, I have this product in three different colors. So I have three different variants for this product. I have pink, red and nude. And now when I preview this product, you can see that under the color option, I can see the color names. What I want to have instead is to have the swatches. So the colors in circles or in squares. So let's go first just to online store to see that I'm using the latest version of the Dawn theme. I'm going to start to show you how to set up this on the Dawn theme, but later on, I'm going also to show you how to set up this on a professional theme. So if I go now into the theme and I click on customize, I must go to the product page in here. And usually the swatches options are either under the product information section or within the theme settings section. So let's start first by previewing our, our product that comes in variants. And in here, when I click on variant picker, and I can see that I have the style, so it's either drop down like this, which is I don't want, or pills, which is the option I want for color swatches. The second option I, I have in here are like the swatches, and I can either choose between circular, square, or none. Since I didn't set up the colors yet in the right way, that's why I don't see them in here. Now I'm going back to my product to set up these properly. So let's go back in here and let's go to our product. The first thing that you need to do is to choose in here the category of your product. This is super important because when you choose the category in here, Shopify will be activating what we call Shopify meta fields. If this is a totally new concept for you, it's fine, don't worry, just follow up with the steps and you will get it figured out. So under category in here, I will put my product category. So in my case, it's heels, okay? So I'm gonna type heels and usually Shopify is going to give me suggestions. So I'm going to choose heels under shoes. And as you can see in here, I read 12 meta fields. This means that when I choose this category, Shopify is going to activate 12 new meta fields. I'm going to scroll down in here to show you these 12 new meta fields. These were activated now. If I remove the category from here, I won't see them anymore. So if I scroll down, they are not here anymore. So I'm going to type heels. Just for the category, choose what's like the most describes your product. And I'm going to click on save. Once this is done, if I scroll down, I can see these new category meta fields. And as you can see, all of these meta fields make sense for my product. So I have like closure type, shoe size, target gender, and so on. I'm going to choose color because this is the one I care about. And in here, I'm going to enter my colors. Okay, so I have red, pink, and nude. The red and pink are very common colors, so I can find them most probably in here. So this is the pink, this is the red, but the nude one is not in here. What I need to do is to add this color. As you can see in here, I don't have a nude color. So in here, I can click on add a new entry and I will call it a nude. In here, I can either choose the color, so I can go in, go in here and choose my color. I can put the hex in here, so I can go, go to Google and like nude hex. This is gonna give me like the, um, the number of the color exactly. So let's say this one, I copy it and I paste it in here. Okay. Or I can select an image for this color. So if this is a color that I don't know the hacks 
off, like in this case, for example, I can select an image. We're gonna keep this for later when we do a pattern or something like this. But for now, this is the option I'm talking about, selecting an image in here. And I'm going to click, in here we need to select a value, base value, I'm going to choose beige, and click on save. So now I have my three colors in here, okay? But if I preview this product now, I won't be able to see the hexes yet. So what I need to do is to go in here and to link this category meta field to the variant in here. So you click here and you choose color. So now this meta field is linked to this option. That's it. One click, you choose the option and it's done. And you click on done and you click on save. Okay. Now when I go back to online store and when I preview and customize my page, I should be able to see the swatches. So let's go back in here. Let's choose our product. And as you can see, now I can see the swatches. And if I go in here to variant picker and I choose square, they will turn out to be square. Now, let's say, for example, you have a tiger pattern for of this here. What I need to do after saving for sure is to go back in here. I will go back to my product and I will add a new variant. OK, so I'm going to go in here and add another option. Let's call it tiger. And as you can see now the page opened and I need to define this new color. So now I will click on select an image and I need to upload my pattern. You just need to have like a square image of your pattern that sits something like this. I will upload it, done. So now I have this image in here and I will click on save. And now this option is in here. I will click on done and save again. Let's go back now and refresh this page to see what we will have. And as you can see, now I have a pattern in here instead of having a color like these ones. With the same logic, if you have named your colors in a fancy way, or if you have like a different colors that are not that common, you can define these colors in here as well. So you go in here, you click on, for example, uh, add a new color. You can name it, for example, blue grayish, or I'm not sure, gold blue, or something like this. And you simply click on add a new entry. You either enter the hex of the color from here, or you enter an image for the color, and that's it. Okay, so as you can see, setting up those on your product pages is now super easy. If you are liking this video so far, don't forget to smash the like button, to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way you will get notified every time I publish a new video. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section below and I would be more than happy to help you out. Now let's talk about how to set them up on your collection pages to use them as filters. So let's say now I go, for example, to heels. Now under filters, I don't have the colors as an option, but it's always better to allow your customers to filter by color, especially if you are selling something like, for example, shoes or heels. And there is an app that you must install in here, and it's called the Search and Discovery app. It's a totally free app from Shopify. So you just need to add it to your Shopify store. So this is the app and I will install it on my Shopify store. This is a very useful app. It helps you to set up your collection filters. It helps you to improve your search results. And also it helps you with product recommendations. So I highly recommend you to check it out and to use it on your Shopify store. So now I have this app installed and now I need to go to the filters section. Okay, now by default, I have two filters. I have the availability and the price. I'm gonna click on add filter. I'm gonna click on select source. And I'm going to choose this one, the one that we have created under the category meta fields, and it's the color one. In here, you must keep the logic as or because let's say someone selected red and pink, they want to see the red and pink product. So we have the or, not the end condition. Okay, and as you can see, these are the colors that we have added. Okay, I'm gonna click on manage values, and in here, I'm going to choose use images when available, and I will click on done. You can, by the way, change any of these things in here. So if you click here, for example, on nude, you can change, for example, the name. I want it to be nude. Okay. And I will click on save. 
Now, when I go back, I have this filter added. I will go back to my collection page and I will see how it looks on my collection pages. So I will click on customize. And as you can see under the colors in here, I have the swatches. And for this one, I will choose tiger. And here, this is the color our customers are going to see on the swatches on the collection page. That's why I need to set it up properly. So I need to choose tiger in here. So they see the pattern within the collection filters. And I will click on done. And I will fix this also for nude. So instead of seeing the badge, I will choose a nude as well and click on done. And click save. So now when I go back to my online store, and when I preview my collection page, let's say the Heels collection page, as you can see, I have a new filter, which is the colors filter. And when I click on it, I can see my filters and I can see the image for the tiger, the nude, the pink and the red. And if I click on red, I will be seeing this product. And as you can see, since I have set those up at the category Metafields level, now the images are changing when I'm choosing the right option. So I have like this. Now let's talk a little bit about how things would be different if you are using a professional team. Well, first, it's very important to mention that a few months ago, the paid team were working in a totally different way since this new update with the category meta fields wasn't yet available for all Shopify stores. So we used to have a different way of setting up color swatches on paid themes. But now since color swatches are being managed within the meta fields, the category meta fields, things have become easier for everyone, especially that now if you change themes, you don't need to worry anymore about swatches. Before swatches were done at the theme level, now we are doing them on the back end within Shopify. So even if you change your theme, the color swatches will always work. Okay, so I'm going to take as an example the Symmetry theme. I will click on Customize and I will go to my product page. So let's go to Products and select this exact product with Variant. So as you can see in here, they are set up by default because I have set them up for the Dawn theme. But if you go in here to the theme settings and you go to swatches, you can see that in here you have different ways of how you want to show up your swatches. So you follow up the same things that you have done for the Dawn theme and they will be showing in here. Or you can do them at the theme level. So in this case, you define the colors at the theme level. And as you can see, when you choose the theme option, in here they give you like two options. Either you choose to show the color list or you show the variant image. So in here, for example, I'm seeing the variant images, which is a nice option. But if I want to see the colors, I need to click on color list. And I need to define my colors in here. So I need to go and put red with the red, with the hex of the red. So I go in here, red hex. I will copy it and paste it in order to be able to see it in here. Okay, and you can do this to define all the colors. Also, you can do this to define a pattern. So for example, in here for tiger, you put tiger. What you need to do is to upload the pattern image or the swatch image to Shopify with the same name. So. I go back in here to Shopify. I go to content and I need to upload the pattern, but this name, I need to make sure that it's called properly. So it's tiger. I will edit. And in here under the swatches, I will go, I will type tiger and I will put tiger.png. So this is the image that I have added. And by default, the image is going to show in here. So, so either you put the color name with the hex number or you put the variant name with the image that represents this variant and you need to make sure that you are putting the name properly. So this is how we set up this. But honestly, it's way easier to get these set up at the category meta fields level in this way. You can make sure that even if you change your theme, everything will be set up properly, okay? So as you can see, setting up color swatches on your Shopify store is now possible. You just need to follow up the steps I have showed you in this video. If you are interested in learning more about meta fields and how you can use them to improve your product pages, I highly recommend you to watch this video because in this video, I talk about everything related to meta fields so you can know how to use them to make your store better.